Today's destination is Bruges, a small city in Belgium that is so beautiful that it is called Venice in Northern Europe. Bruges is a small fairy tale city about an hour and 10 minutes by train from Brussels, the capital of Belgium. The train station in Bruges looks neat and modern. There's a lot of locker room for one day travelers. The size of the locker varies, so many tourists use it. Let's enjoy Bruges with me today. If you come to the quiet and leisurely Bruges, you can have another healing time. If you walk along the dense park road, you will first find Minewater Lake, which means Love Lake, the entrance to the village. As the name of Love Lake, the park surrounding the lake is really beautiful and peaceful. The Minewater Lake is an artificial lake built to control the volume of waterways in the city. But then it has become a representative tourist attraction in Bruges, harmonizing well with the surrounding scenery. Passing through a wall of red bricks, Baganov comes out. Across the garden in front of Baganov, you can feel the warm sunshine and occasional wind blowing between the leaves. It is very refreshing. Unlike many of Europe's most splendid and magnificent cathedrals, the interior of this church is simple, but it is a comforting cathedral that goes well with nature. I will leave bagging up behind and move to the center of the Bruges. As you can imagine from the name Bruges, which means breach, there are numerous bridges over the canal that surrounds the whole city. Bruges' signature feature is the constant stream of boats carrying travelers. The wonderful architecture along the complex canals is impressive and can tell why it has become a city loved by many travelers. The huge cathedral in front of you is St. Salvatore's Cathedral. It was a small church when it was first built in the 12th century. In 1834, after independence from France, it was completed as it is now after a large scale expansion. The interior of the cathedral is neat and tidy, and marble pillars and pipe organ stand out. The colorful stained glass and tapestry are very beautiful. In the Middle Ages, Bruges was also the largest city in Europe. The entire city is well preserved to the extent that it is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. When you leave the cathedral, you'll find a lot of pretty shops and restaurants all the way down the street. In Bruges, you can walk from the station to the town center without any need for public transportation. Passing through here, you reach Markt, the center of Bruges, Markt is the only place in Bruges that's crowded with tourists. The square, which is the center of a trip to Bruges, is surrounded by buildings built in the 13th century during the Middle Ages. On one side of the square, Belfort Bruges, which stands 83 meters tall and weighs 27 tons, is a must-see bell tower in Bruges. Built for 200 years from 1240, the bell tower plays 47 beautiful bells on top of it every hour on time. Next to Belfort is Historian Bruges, which is different from the usual museum. It explains 
the history of Bruges in a fun and interesting way using a boy's love story, making it more fun to travel. Go up to the terrace, the last course of the historium, and you will be able to enjoy a full view of the Mark Square. Sitting on a street stall lined with green tents in marked square. The view of the plaza where drinking a cold drink makes me feel as if I were in the Middle Ages. The statue of Belgian heroes standing in the center of the square and stair-shaped roof and various windows shows the splendid medieval period of Bruges. Right next to Moss Square is Burg Square, where the City Hall is located. This building was built in the late 14th century and is one of the oldest buildings in Bruges. Next to it is Basilica of the Holy Blood, also called Holy Blood Church. The cathedral was built in the 12th century and is famous for its chapel dedicated to the Holy Blood of Jesus brought from Jerusalem by Count Brandley, who participated in the Second Crusade. Burg Square here, with this medieval vibe, is filled with people enjoying their rest in the shade of trees. The carriage carrying tourists is always full of energy. Now, if you go through the door next to the City Hall building, you'll find the dock that starts the boat tour. The Bruges boat tour is an easy way to enjoy Bruges along the narrow canal, so I recommend you try it. So far, it's been a happy city just by walking. Belgium Bruges is a beautiful small city that I highly recommend to people who like small cities in Europe. It was a trip to Bruges that healed me just by sitting on the bench without thinking. And finally, we're going to wrap up our journey with a boat tour. Go, go! Thank you.